Well, uh, there is certainly a lot of hypocrisy as far as terrorism is concerned. When terrorism is directed against certain set of people, you know, there is a outrage and outcry in the Western media. When it is directed at other people, you know, th there is a tendency to look the other way, which is very unfortunate. The UN Resolution 1967 very clearly stated that no cause, no cause in the world justifies the use of terror. Apropos the aspect of whether Israel should ask for a ceasefire or should agree to a ceasefire on humanitarian grounds to avoid collateral damage to the civilian population of Gaza. As a military man, I would say that 300 rockets, 300 rockets were fired in the past two days from the Gaza Strip onto Tel Aviv, the national capital. Which country, which armed forces can take the decision to call off operations when such attacks are continuing? The Israelis have suffered 1,400 killed, 3,700 wounded. With a population of just about 10 million, you know, that is about 10 times mm -hmm. what uh, the United States suffered in 9-11. Uh, it's much yeah. more than what we suffered in the yeah. Mumbai 26-11 attacks. So, I mean, to say Israel should yeah. now take the sole responsibility of uh, avoiding collateral damage, well, they are trying to tell people to get out of the area of operations. They have given, as you said, seven days over a week for them to, the civilian population to evacuate so that they are not caught in the line of fire. But uh, unfortunately, we have yeah, found absolutely. a tendency on the part of Hamas to use the civilians as shields, yeah. hospitals, mosques and schools yes. as shields, which is very unfair. And not the first time. And I would like to just conclude by saying that, that that Hamas is not Palestine. Hamas does not represent Palestine. They are doing a lot of damage to the Palestinian cause.